Rewarding Brain Stimulation was first developed by James Olds and Peter Milner at McGill University in the 1950s. Olds and Milner showed that electrical stimulation of certain regions deep in the brain was so rewarding that rats would self-stimulate those regions to the point of fainting from exhaustion and starvation. Later, it was shown that those brain regions were part of the reward system which generates desire, motivation and learning, and that electrical stimulation of the system triggered the release of dopamine, just like food, sex and addictive drugs. Simultaneously with Olds and Milner, researchers like Robert Heath of Tulane University showed that humans too, if given the opportunity to electrically stimulate their reward system, would self-stimulate to a point that, to quote Heath, both behaviorally and introspectively, the patient was experiencing an almost overwhelming euphoria and elation and had to be disconnected despite his vigorous protests. Since Olds and Milner's original discovery, rewarding brain stimulation has become an important tool in the study of brain function and reward learning in rats. Among other things, researchers have shown that rats can be trained to run in treadmills, lift weights and learn new skills if they are rewarded with rewarding brain stimulation. Recently, the American Department of Defense developed a wireless brain implant that combines rewarding brain stimulation with stimulation of the left or right whiskers of a rat so that the rat's movements can be guided remotely. Not surprisingly, scientists have been reluctant to develop rewarding brain stimulation as a treatment option for humans, and whenever electrodes are placed in the reward system to treat psychological problems, which happens quite a lot these days, by the way, the researchers are quick to point out that they don't use the kind of electrical current that would generate rewarding brain stimulation. But you know what? With the healthcare system crashing and obesity running rampant, maybe a daily artificial workout wouldn't be such a bad idea. <laughs>